God damn it, Chris. God, 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 God damn it, Chris. Oh, you see this guy? See this guy? Number one bullshit guy. After this play, hold on. What? Come right. the fuck on. God damn it, Chris. All right. Appreciate you tuning in. Your boy is back. The best in the building is back in the building. You know. Hold on. Best in the building. No, best in the business. Back <laughs> no, in the building. Break it back and break it blue. <laughs> <laughs> uh, we got another weekly wrap up for your sports. Oh, man. Um, we're the Weird Ones Podcast. And this, 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 this is the Chris Sports Rundown. <laughs> I don't know what's going on. I know what's going on, but I can't hear. Oh, God. <laughs> oh man, Roger got done with your shit. It was like, what the fuck is that? <laughs> is that fun to y'all? Yeah, it was. Okay. God damn Are we ready Chris. to move on now? Yeah, come go. on, let's go. Chris's right. bike. All right, thank you. You gonna introduce me for this? Yeah, I got you. All right. You already introduced yourself. Oh, yeah. I did? You sure right. did. I'm playing right, so, play sports right now, B, for you. Okay. Oh, you see sporty this guy? Yeah, see okay, this guy? we got the sporty B. Number one bullshit guy. All right, there we go. We right. good. Okay. <laughs> that wasn't it? <laughs> All right, man. We're going to start this thing. Oh, All right. God, yeah. So, we're going to start off with the NFL. Um, trade deadlines coming up on Tuesday. Tuesday. We've had a few trades. Besides my squad, again, Christian McCaffrey, you know the deal. You already knew that. You know, that is, is what it is. We what do you think that's f- going to do for y'all? I think it's going to be great for us. This year? Yeah. Hmm. Yeah. Like, Last I'm game? Talk- huh? Last game? Last game, not so much because he didn't know the uh, playbook or whatever. Nah, you see, know. I said that. Then them niggas was like, nah, he's smart enough. He went to Stanford. He did. He had some good plays where he was gashing y'all. He did. Like, three yeah. in a row. <laughs> So and it was just dives, bro. Yeah, it wasn't like, like it was getting crazy with it. It was like running backs are pretty easy position. Mm-hmm. To be honest with you. Yeah, that's true. That's they true. literally tell you where to go. They're like yo, twenty seven blasts. Like all right, I know where to run. You mean you just count gaps? Yeah. It's probably way more than the NFL. <laughs> I'm about to say these <laughs> niggas got it down. The play call is probably more than that, but it's still something probably that's just like, like that. triple right Z wash yeah. double slant. Hey, go. fucking Herm Edwards and Romeo Cornell over here. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so the uh, so we had a, a couple other pretty good trades. Um, we'll start off with the Chiefs championship. Chiefs right. trade their conditional third round pick and sixth round pick to the Giants for wide receiver Kadarius Tony. How do you feel about that? Man? Who was the twentieth overall pick in the twenty twenty one draft? I wanted him in the draft. What college, Lindari? All right. Yeah. I don't know. Your who thoughts? He is. Our Chiefs. Kadarius Tony is with the Giants. He's a uh, Super quick. He's not as fast as McCall Harmon, but he's probably quicker than McCall Harmon. He's a little bigger than McCall Harmon, I think. So how many receivers do y'all have right now? Go Chiefs? Probably. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. I think six. Let me see. Juju, MVS, McCall. Uh, what's the rookie's name? Watson. <clears throat> Moore. Scott, Scott Moore. Moore. And then uh, Kadarius Tony. Mm. Yeah, six. So besides his injury, injuries. Hold on. Um, so we had a conversation during our break. Was Juju short for Julius? That man, is, that man was born John Sherman Smith Schuster. Oh, God. What that's, the fuck? <laughs> definitely not Julius. He's like he started the phone company. <laughs> that is that man's full name. Uh, So I guess uh, Kadarius Tony. For some reason, with Giants are what five and one? Did they win today? Uh, oh, they're, they're playing, playing right now. now. They're, they're losing right now, now three yeah. to fourteen. Okay, uh, 14. so for some reason, he just didn't want to play with the Giants. Um, I guess now it's out that he was faking his injury. I've seen that. He said, "By the way, I'm ready to go." So Chiefs, you know, got a bye week this week, so he got another week to rest. But I think it'd be obviously a good addition. He's gonna be a great addition as long I as he can stay on the, the ball in space. I, f- I feel like he could be a number one. Let me just ponder that for a second. Okay. I don't know. I don't know yet. I feel like you didn't see enough of him last year. His best game was probably the game against the Cowboys where he had uh, 180 yards or something. Yeah. We know the talent's there. But when you said number one, though, 
I think of like Devontae Adams, Tyreek Hill. That nigga got me 1.2 points today. Tyreek Hill? Devontae Adams. Oh. So you seen he didn't number one? He didn't one? do no number one, nothing today. <laughs> he boy. didn't do no number one. Well, they nah. did have zero points. I know. He's probably a big reason when you only have well, 1.2 points. I don't know if he's number one, but right now I would say do the Chiefs have a number one receiver? A lot of people say they don't. They, they got don't. a bunch of number two. I mean, they Juju's do. playing well. Travis but... Kelsey's that number one receiver. That's true. Yeah, he's a tight end, though. But I know. It don't really matter. I feel like with Andy Reid, if you look back in his past, you seen like people like Avant and shit like that go off. So as long as you get him anybody with some type of talent, I'm good. I feel like it's easier for my homes to just, hey, I can throw wherever, really. I ain't got somebody breathing down my neck like, hey, I'm open. Pass me the ball. That too, but when you got a great quarterback, you can put – I'm not going to say anybody because these are pro players. They all got skills. But you can throw some people out there and you get the Peyton Manning effect and shit or the Tom Brady effect where, like, there was, like, any white guy from Dorchester, <clears throat> Tom Brady's going to make him a star. Or Peyton Manning had – what was the concussion guy's name? And the concussion guy. Guy that got concussions every damn day. Austin Collie? Yeah. He was a star, like a legit star for a while with Peyton. And uh, Eric Decker, he made that man a lot of money. Yeah, yeah he did. Went to the Jets and was just like nothing. A great Trash. quarterback can take like a just uh, a roster level player, just somebody that's going to be on the roster, play special teams, and make them look like a. I mean, Justin Watson on the Chiefs, I think that's his name, but he'd be looking like a star when he plays. They got a Watson on defense and a Watson on offense. Twins. <laughs> Twins. <laughs> All right, moving along. The other deal was. Uh, Bears traded for pass rusher Robert Quinn. Trade away. Traded away I Robert mean, Quinn. Sorry. Bears traded traded pass rusher Robert Quinn to the undefeated Eagles, who won again today, so they're 7-0. Yep. Oh. Stacking them up. Uh, for a fourth-round pick. And the Eagles still have six picks in the 2023 draft. Two of them first-rounders. Mm, sweet deal for them, sound like. Yeah, that Jalen Hurst thing is yeah, they, yeah. yeah. So, currently, the pick that they received from the Saints – Currently sits at number six. Really? Yeah. Well, I guess the Saints won today, so it probably dropped back a couple slots. But probably that, still that top should 10. probably go up more. The Saints yeah. ain't that great. Oh. That's, that'd be pretty but, crazy, That's a pretty though. sweet deal for them. That's all. I mean, it's just it's I mean, business. the rich getting richer. The fo- it's football though? business. But you didn't know that the Eagles were going to be rich this year until that's they true. come out and start. That's true. Uh, but they were banking on – I mean, they were banking on the future. That was the deal with the Saints that – the Saints wanted to move up, so the Eagles traded them their first round pick for two first round picks to move back the year after. That's how they got this one. Mm. So if you're the Eagles and you end up getting like a top three pick, do you go after a quarterback? I don't. I mean, Jalen Hurts to. is playing good, but you I saw like Arizona had uh, Josh Rosen in the next year. They went yeah. to Kyler Murray. But but we seen what Josh Rosen was. I mean, we only saw a, a year did of he get him. A or, chance though, like yeah. they literally got rid of him quick as hell. Well, he went to Miami. It's not like he didn't get to play anymore. I mean, he went to Miami. They got Tua right away. Not right away. <laughs> I I mean, he might not be good. I, I'll, I'll go out there. He might not be good. But I don't think he ever got like a real legit like yo. He's gonna be. Our Sometimes guy you don't need to see that. You probably Sometimes right. Sometimes you see what you see. Like that ain't it. But I mean, I watch Jalen Hurts. I'm like, he is playing good, but. I feel like if you got a chance to get, who was it, Bryce Young? I don't know if I wouldn't take it. So you trade him, no Jalen Hurts? I probably would, yeah. <laughs> it's funny every time. That would make somebody happy, I'm sure. Would you trade Jalen Hurts to get Bryce Young? I wouldn't. No? I think they're fine with Hurts right now. It's, I mean, it's fine. I'll say this. It's okay to be fine, but I would always try to be great. I just, I just think you go for an... Elite blocker or elite pass rusher. You got the quarterback <laughs> position down right now. Hertz is up for – he's going to be up for MVP this year. Maybe. Like, maybe. you just don't fall into that. Obviously, he's talented. He going to be – but do you think he's that dude? Like, when you think of the best quarterbacks in the league, do you think no. Jalen Hurts? No, I don't. But I think he could – yeah, I don't know if he can win you a Super Bowl, though. That's the thing. I feel like that team he can get you there. win a Super Bowl, but when I think of best quarterbacks in the league, I don't think of Jalen Hurts. And I mean, he's still that, young, though. But then you drive Bryce well, Young, and he's a bust. And you that's just what I'm saying. You know what Jalen Hurts? You know what Hurts is right now. Right now, I don't feel like if you replace Jalen Hurts with just any mid level, if you replace him with Kirk Cousins, I think they keep rolling. I don't think so. So Kirk Cousins, yeah. Yeah, see, I don't. I don't think you're giving Jalen Hurts enough credit. But you saw, you saw the I'm, progress. And I might not be. 
You yeah, saw the progress that Hurts made this last offseason. Think about what he can do this next offseason. I just don't think, like, <clears throat> Jalen Hurts can do things that Kirk Cousins can't do. Run. Exactly. Right. But he can throw now, too, though. Like, I mean, he, he's he's, still, he can throw he can, now. He's still old. Okay, throwing it. But can, I say he can you, throw you've the seen same the it's, Lamar it's a big stride from he's last better than year. Lamar this year. I think he's got, but then he's got. I mean, AJ I'm, I'm saying that like Lamar Jackson can throw when there's a threat of the play axe. But if you get them down far enough, we all know Lamar ain't gonna throw you back in no game. I think Jalen can throw better than Lamar. I haven't Jackson. seen Jalen Hurts do that yet. I don't, uh, I'm not gonna say. He I don't can. know, Johnny. I, I'm just my opinion, yo. We, I seen, we I seen, the Lamar. I literally Me seen you Lamar, Lamar overthrow a receiver three times in a row, oh, yeah. wide open. Oh, well, yeah, I yeah. Yeah. He did that. We were yeah. on the oh, game. That's crazy. We were on yeah. the game. That's, that's crazy. Jalen Hurts this year has been on the money with his passes. He's also he thrown has. a lot less than Lamar. Lamar threw, what, 40 times in the half on Thursday that's, versus the Buccaneers? Lamar ain't 7-0, and 0, though. So what? It just comes down to basically if you, uh, the GM of the Eagles, if you believe in Jalen Hurts. That's what I'm saying. Yeah. But like, you don't want to see something that practice. They're so, like, yeah, that's the guy. It'd be man. like that risk, though. It's a hell of a risk, though. You draft Bryce Young and trade away Jalen Hurts, and then you go 0 for 17 next year. Nigga yeah. is looking at you like, you. hey, wait a minute. I think you still go for that elite. Uh, and, but it's also the other way. Like, if you don't go, if you don't go for like the elite quarterback in the draft, people are more like, we had a chance to get him. Or you can trade again. Just keep stacking them picks. Well, it only makes sense. Somebody for, that wants a quarterback and you just move back a little bit. You can keep stacking picks, but so you feel he's you feel he's GM. You trading Jalen Hurts and drafting Bryce Young. If I'm Philly's GM, I like Bryce Young. So if I'm Philly's GM, obviously he's good. Yeah, I'm like, oh, shit, man. You know, probably so. I just don't think so. I don't think the Saints will get number one. No, I number, think he's going to be the number one pick of the draft. It's a, I forgot who the other quarterback is that's coming out, but he's right up there with Bryce Young to be you know number one pick. The dude from Tennessee. Uh, not Hurden Hendren or whatever his name yeah. is. Is he is he Hooker. is he available this year? Because sure. that yeah that dude's a star too. And then also the number one pick might be that uh their pass rusher from Alabama. Yeah. So if you if you don't get a top three pick or a top five pick that often, so if you get one, I feel like you always got to go quarterback. For me, I don't think so. You can pick a top. Like you literally just drafted like the best quarterback <clears throat> in the NFL at what twelve? Ten. Ten. Yeah, you can pick a top pass rusher. One, no, I mean, two, yeah, three pass in rusher. This, but I feel you like can never team, have enough. Team, you can never have enough pass. You can never enough pass rusher. But they team's pretty set, man. Like they are. If you get a great quarterback, then you set for the next fifteen years. Pass rushers come and go. You just don't know who's going to be great anymore. That's the thing. But that's somebody's job. Man. And you got someone that's pretty good. Alex Smith was pretty good. So I mean, that's where I come from. From Alex Smith was pretty good, but I always knew. He wasn't it. All right, moving along. Bengals wide receiver Jamar Chase expected to miss four to six weeks with a hip injury. He skipped surgery and will try to rehab. He injured it week six against the Saints and aggravated it last week. I believe that means he's going to miss the game against the Chiefs, which is uh, good news for us because he cooked us last year. (laughs) It's cooked the word, like barbecued. Well, grilled. I wouldn't say toasted. If, if we going by that, it was like he had one of those Santa Maria grills and he just burnt the shit out of us. <laughs> like he forgot we was on the grill. Hibachi grill. Like he went down, started playing dominoes. Forget he left the Chiefs on the grill. <laughs> <laughs> I think he had like two hundred yards. He against did, us. yeah, yeah. Like he went off. I mean, they were only throwing it to him. Yeah, like yeah, like. like Burrow drops back to pass. You know he's going to. And it to. wasn't even like he was just open. It was he was blatant. just like mossing, like little boy, little bro, you dog, get out of here. Little baby rocking the, rock the baby to sleep. He caught a comeback, took off like 60 yards. I said, okay, he he, you know, he ain't going to do that again. Next time he just went up, get him out of here. Yeah. Uh, it's a tough injury, especially for fantasy owners. I.E. me. <laughs> <laughs> Do you have an IR slot in your league, Johnny? We do. He's sitting there chilling. Okay. Who did you pick up? I know, because they didn't put him on an IR, bro. Yeah, they didn't. So he's just Oh, out. they didn't he's put just, him on IR. Yeah, right. I can't put him in there. I didn't. For, they debated put him on injured reserve because they said that he's a fast healer. I didn't pick up anybody, actually, though. That's stupid. Yeah. I feel like they should have just put him on IR. Yeah. When they say that fast healer, that sounds to me like we're going to try to get him back as soon as possible. Or try to juice him up with roids? It, no. Because that's like, illegal. If they could give him a shot for pain, you know, he'd be yeah. playing. That, that shit just means, like, you know, we think it's going to be eight weeks. 
we're going to try to get him back in five exactly. to keep our playoff hopes alive. All they right. just want to see how they record go without him before they try to rush him back. That's true, and their record's not too impressive right now. I mean, they were struggling a little bit. They started getting going, but... Yeah, but he's so important to that team. I wouldn't rush him back. If you, yeah. If you bomb this year, you bomb this year. Yeah. Uh, Bucks linebacker Shaq Barrett suffers a season-ending torn Achilles. What? That Thursday sucks. night loss to the Ravens. Did he? Mm, yeah. That sucks. I didn't even see he had like a couple sacks, did he? He did. Damn. Them Achilles don't play out here, man. Yeah. Shout out to my knee. No, it wasn't his knee. <laughs> <laughs> but no, that's uh tough. The Bucks have a tough season already, and just made it tougher. Thomas Edward. Yeah. Patrick, Patrick Brady. We're not gonna get into his personal. We don't personal. No, I'm no. talking about his game. No, I know. He ain't playing saying, that great. Yeah. He ain't hitting sixty. He is not. <laughs> he did not ever drop sixty, or Giselle wouldn't be acting like that. <laughs> That's a fact. He'd be playing football. <laughs> he could play football till he, uh, till he damn near rolling over in his grave. He was dropping 60. <laughs> Tom, you got to put in more work in that bedroom, basically. <laughs> Can't watch film. <laughs> See, last time I should have went at this angle. You think Tom Brady got hoes? Uh, he can if he wants to, I'm sure. Yeah, yeah. He probably could just pull up in New England and smash anything he wants. Do you it's think Tampa, he got the bro. Tampa, though? Oh, Tampa, yeah. too. Tampa, he just yeah. bought them a Super Bowl. It's Tom Brady. Yeah. You fucked on Brady? No. That, that <laughs> is crazy, bro. <laughs> that would be crazy. I'm like, oh, you know <laughs> Maybe. That is crazy. He do got money, though. <laughs> My nigga said, it's Tom Brady, though. <laughs> you like, you fucked Pat Mahomes? Nah, he did bring us to Super Bowl and shit. <laughs> All right. Uh, we also got Ryan Tannehill out with a sprained ankle. And Malik oh, Willis man. set to make his first career start. Today? He working yeah. on them. What are you doing? It's They're thirteen ten. Right now. It's yeah, thirteen so ten. What are you looking like? Ken? Is he throwing the ball? They're working on them. On them. Uh. Uh. uh them. Uh, Giants. Texans. Texans. This week. Yeah. Uh, oh. So what do you think? Do you think that Tannehill could ever get his job back if Willis um, plays well? Titans are winning seventeen to three. Yeah, I saw Derrick Henry had a good run, but he always runs good against the Texans. I saw my league Willis play last. I could probably run good against the Texans. Well, it's not going that Six far. for 10, 55 yards, one interception. <laughs> Who does? Malik Willis. What is it again? Six for 10, 55 yards, one interception. Uh-huh. Derrick Henry, 213 yards, two touchdowns. That's crazy. <laughs> really? Yeah. Whoa. I feel like the wild. Titans said no. Like, if we stop him, we got this. No, yeah. the Texans. The oh, Texans. Yeah, Texans. Yeah. Yeah. That's crazy. That one. Who's that? Lovey Smith? Yeah. The game done passed him by. <laughs> <laughs> he do look like the black Santa Claus. Yeah, I'm gonna love bring you your you Monaco's next week, bro. Oh, what's, your, what's y'all leading receiver? Robert Woods currently has 26 yards. What do y'all in the season? Yeah, not enough as Juju. Juju ran off like yeah. 178 last week. John mm-hmm. Sherman ran off 278. Hold last on, Juju week. did not have that much last week. What do you have? Yeah, something like well, he didn't have 178 last 130 week. 130 something. I might have had that. He, he said because that was against his team. <laughs> Hold on, man. I watched that game front front row. Like, <laughs> let me ask you this, Chris, about that game. Oh, At man. what point Come did on. you think like this shit's Dog going walk. against me? Dog about walk. eight minutes left in the fourth. You was like, I don't think we're gonna get God it. God yeah. damn it, Chris! At what point did you think like they about to twenty one us? About eight minutes left in the fourth. Really? Yeah. We wasn't about twenty one. Well, what was you thinking? But it was looking that bad because that's year, when uh, you only got four ninety four. Robert Smith only probably has Robert, barely 200. Robert probably. Woods, you mean? What I say? Robert I'm Smith. I'm like, Robert yeah. Smith, ain't that the billionaire? <laughs> that was, Robert Smith was <laughs> the a black Vikings running back a long time ago. <laughs> From what school? Who? Robert Smith. The Vikings dude? Ah, he was light skinned, so I'm going to say somewhere like Washington? No, nah, Northwestern. Robert Woods got two thirty. He got some work to do. That's <laughs> <laughs> over, bro. We ain't no running. We ain't no throwing. He team, got some man. work to do. But Malik Luke. Willis, though, that's a Keenan. If Malik Willis plays well, ends up playing well today, gets a win, maybe plays well next week. If Tannehill's out again, do you want to see Malik Willis the rest of the way, or go back to Tannehill? Mm, I, I really don't get a difference because Tannehill don't throw much, and neither does Malik Willis. So Malik Willis is, is only his best attribute is his leg. So. We got Derrick Henry for that. I mean, Malik Willis is he's looking like Lamar to me a little bit. Lamar though, like Malik Willis don't run like that cool. though. No, he didn't even run like he, that he's in college. Cool, for but real. he don't he don't he don't throw I mean he enough. can get around in the pocket. 
He don't I mean, throw he enough, made. but I, I would also say we don't have the receivers for him to throw it to. We don't Isn't have, that we don't why Brable no. took him out the last game because he wouldn't throw it? He was right running too game, much. He was like, he, he was won't running, throw the damn ball. Yeah, he was running too much. Go Chiefs. <laughs> damn. All right. Oh, what's the update on that score? You still got the score there? It was 17-3. Oh, okay. I would just take Malik Willis, bro. You know what Tannehill is. Yeah, I mean Tanny, but but Tanny Hill really has are they a, uh, first in the division right now? They lead in the division. Yeah. Oh, okay. yeah, nope. Then you can't win. I think you just yeah, Tanny Hill. Tanny Hill really alive. hasn't. Lost they said as that much. Um, he froze up in the in the AFC Championship, but he hadn't. Yeah, he ain't really fucked up that much. I mean, they said Malik Willis was. Uh, he needed the most time to sit back and watch and and learn out of the the quarterbacks in the draft. It's kind of making sense why everybody probably the most talent, but. He needed to sit and learn for a little bit. Y'all probably make the playoffs. I know we're going to make the playoffs. They're going to make the playoffs. They got an easy division. Well, I mean, they had the coach, but they bench Ryan. Uh, they did. Ryan. Sam Ellinger playing. What's what's the stats on that? Can somebody look at that real quick? What game? Uh, Colts and um, – I don't think they, they're not playing yet. Yeah, I think they that's are. Colts and Commanders, 7-6 oh. to six Commanders. What's Sam Ellinger's stat line? Let me pull that up for me. Better than Matt Ryan's been doing. Fourteen for nineteen for one ninety. He oh, had a good preseason though, but he had a really good pre. He was like the best quarterback in preseason. Just no this season. Forty nine ers are winning. Well, yeah, I see that. Oh, you know, on. CMC had a little receiving touchdown, got a passing touchdown too. Where was he that doing last it all? Week? He won. He won. He didn't have a playbook yet. Okay. <laughs> he can't play defense, right? What that's true. That? That's true. <clears throat> he can't play defense. He ain't arguing and cook like Javarius Ward, you know. Don't say that, because I told you. And you was like, nah, Ward, <laughs> he good. <laughs> Anyways, <laughs> commandos, or commanders, quarterback, nice. Taylor yeah. Heineke. My nigga ain't got no draws on. <laughs> <laughs> so Taylor Heineke buys a new pair of Jordans in the color of the team he just beat. Green, Bay, Green Bean Fives were last week. Okay. I like that trend. That's kind of cool. Yeah. I didn't know that. I guess they put it. They put it out there last week. He was at the press conference, so he must have had him like air mailed in, or or he already has some. Like I knew just, I was going to get. The crazy thing is that them greens ain't the same, but I hear you. Yeah, they not. But what? the green, green bean greens are in Green Bay. Like them colors ain't the same. They just green. Yeah, the well, green I mean, bean greens are like Leon or neon green down there. Like well, I mean, I guess like gray, something right? similar. You know, yeah. you know what he was going Bro, with. It's though. a pair. You could have bought a pair of four Jays ones right now that was literally <laughs> green and yellow. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> the dunks, the dunks, dunks come on. in every color, bro. So, I don't know. I think I, I thought that know. was kind of cool. That's why I threw it in there. I feel like they it ain't cooler than beating Green Bay. I know that. That is pretty cool. That's true. Beating green Bay. Especially so, when you're the commandos. So we record this on Sunday afternoons. So the night game we got Bills and Packers. You just steal this nigga segment. I, I want to see who y'all who y'all think. Jeez. Y'all think y'all think the Packers is are, are the Packers done tonight? Yeah, against the Bills. Kill? You think yeah. they roll kill against the I'm Bills? Not gonna say that, I mean, we were talking about the Packers. That's why I, I just like the they thing, done tonight. The worst thing is we knew what the offense was going to be without Devontae Adams. It's just that the defense was supposed to be so much better this year, and they're getting cooked. They need AJ Hawk back. They are getting cooked. <laughs> AJ <But>. Hawk. <laughs> Rolling over is great. <laughs> the teams play like really good teams, they get up for that shit. Yeah. So they can play out of their mind tonight. Yeah, that's true. Where is it at? In it's, in it's uh, a, Buffalo. Or Buffalo. Or oh right? yeah. They they cook. They done. They out of here. So, so you on. saying Green Bay for the win. I'm not saying Green Bay for the win, but I just like it's football. So you I mean anything can happen, but yeah. If you had sure. to pick right now. If I had to I don't want to hear I that it's football shit. You saw, it? hold on. I don't want to hear all this. If you had to you pick saw, right now, who you pick it? Money Green line Bay points. or Bo- Green money Bay or Buffalo? Points. Money line. Ooh, I'm going to probably take the You bills. saw what the Bills did to the Chiefs, and the Chiefs aren't even as good as Green Bay. Okay, so that Bills game is the reason why I think Green Bay could, could sneak a win. I didn't think they played that great against the Chiefs. Like, when you watch that game, you want like, damn, they're a juggernaut. The Bills? Yeah, I, I didn't, thought I didn't that. that. No. Not against the Chiefs, but it's been games. Yeah, it's this been year. games, but that game against like the Chiefs, this year. I didn't come away thinking, "Oh, they're a juggernaut." Yeah, but you don't you don't think that the Packers are on the Bills? Le- I mean, on the Chiefs level at all, right? No, right. no. But I mean, they got Aaron Rodgers, so I just assume when you got a quarterback like that, but they also you can have make anything happen at any time. Uh, Romeo Dobbs as their number one receiver. Don't matter. <laughs> Who's a matter. rookie? I don't know, bro. Cause we've been saying that and they've been garbage. I mean, they've been garbage, year. but I'm just I would never say a hundred percent. Like, I didn't expect the Jets to beat Green Bay. 
I mean, that's true. Or you know the commanders. Or, or the commanders. Yeah. It's been but a, when, when you see that, what do you think? When, when you see that, when you, when you see that, you just like you just chuck it up as they got up for Aaron Rodgers? It's like, I don't know. Or I don't you know like Green look. Bay's ass this Major, year? Majority of the Green league Bay's is ass. three and four, four Honestly, and three. I don't know what's going on this year. Well, um, after those two games, I mean, you know something. I thought Aaron Rodgers still high. You think he high? I thought he, he was is. still high. But he going to be sober this game. I don't know. I don't know, Johnny. I'm, I'm playing devil's <laughs> I mean, him and Matt LaFleur have been going back and forth in what the, the press. The Bills got a loss too, don't they? Yeah, they, they lost do. to a bad team too, I think. Was it the Colts? No, I thought it was I Buffalo. I mean, I thought it was Miami. Buffalo, Buffalo lost, lost to Buffalo? Buffalo? No, I thought it was Miami. <laughs> Didn't they lose to Miami? Hold on, I'm about to pull them up uh, right now. They might have did lose. I thought they, they lost to Miami been. on like that touchdown the at the game. end. It was like two. It was second week? I think it was week two. Yeah. And, I mean, look at Miami. I mean, yeah, there's week, only one Week three, they team. lost to Miami 21-19. Yeah. Yeah. So there's only one undefeated team. And everybody, I mean, we're not going to have 17 yeah, no. Even the Eagles aren't going to go 17 and 0. I mean, now they fucking. Eagles probably mess around and lose. To the know. Cowboys or something. They 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 handled the Cowboys last week. Didn't they? I know, but they could the next game. Anything. I mean, Anything I don't it's happen. always that. But yeah. I'm like, if you had to go in and pick the pick, if this I had game, to bet right not, now, I would definitely take the Bills. But if tomorrow morning I looked at the score and the and, uh, the Packers won by three, I wouldn't be like, holy shit, that's crazy. I would, well, especially yeah, with no. it being in Buffalo. If it was in Lambeau, I could be like, eh, the no. Packers could squeak it out. The Packers got a good defense. They just don't you play You willing good, to bet on but it? But they got some players. Okay. No, I'm not betting on them. Oh, okay. But, I mean, do you think the I'm Packers about to say, okay, wait a minute. Players? This is getting good. He trying to get his lick back. Yeah, no, the Packers got I good deep players. Yeah. They just staying together yet. Yeah. They just, you know, hopefully. All right, all right, all right. Moving on, moving on to the NBA. We got to get through this. We don't want it to be two hours long. We could. I'm just anyway. here drinking free Monaco. All right. Russell Westbrook moved to the bench in Friday's loss versus Timberwolves. They be treating Westbrook bad. He didn't right? even play. He did play well. He didn't play that game. Against the Timberwolves? Yeah, they benched him that game. They he moved him to the him. bench. No, I don't think Russell was Westbrook played that game. He was in street, clothes, in street clothes. clothes. He was in that white hoodie, wasn't he? Yeah. yeah. He didn't play that game. What was the game they moved him to the bench? It wasn't that one. You just my facts might guy. be wrong. Yeah. Hold on. My facts might be wrong. Y'all, Hold on. Let's yeah, go do five minutes Y'all feel like later. they scapegoating Russell Westbrook? Yeah. Somewhat. Yeah. But, I mean, it's hard. You can't. It's hard to make a case when he ain't. He don't produce, bro. He don't produce what, though? Nothing. I mean, the. Well, I don't know what game it was I watched. I don't know why. He had, like, he... 19. He had good numbers. See, I ain't see that game. It feels like he don't want to be there. So, hold on. Okay. Against the Timberwolves, like I said. They lost 111 to 102. Russell Westbrook came off the bench, played 33 minutes, 18 points, eight rebounds, yeah. three assists. So what, did he sit? Did they bench him the game before? One of those games he didn't play. Wait, what was his stats? Sure it points? might have been the yeah, did, did 18 points, eight rebounds. He played pretty good coming what off was the his bench. Turnovers? Um, hold on, I do have it here. He had five like turnovers. I said, like I said, he came off the of bench. Of course, yeah. Ball headed bastard. I told you what I said. Duh, I like like, like you see, you know the game I'm talking about. I he knew another game you're talking about. Yeah. It was like it must have been Thursday then. He missed. He set out a game. They were saying was, yeah. they were saying we sitting him out because he got a hamstring in- injury. And nobody's heard of a hamstring yeah. injury. They're like where'd they pull that from? They must. This might be the last time we see him in the Lakers jersey. Maybe he got a little grown. Like I watch sports <laughs> all this shit all the time. So basically, the, the thing was Wednesday against the Nuggets. Then. Okay. So basically, they slowly moved to the bench. Like we're gonna ease him back in the lineup, but basically we're gonna take him off the bench now. But well, I, 33 I, minutes is still starters minutes, though. Ain't but it? it don't matter. But he's playing with the second unit. So he could be the – now he can be the playmaker on the second unit is what they're saying. This is all LeBron's fault. We know. Le- LeBron wanted Westbrook. No, I just – not that. It's like your style of play is not compatible with his style of play. You, you're not changing. Like, why can't they let Westbrook be the guy on the first unit? LeBron's older. So let Westbrook and do his thing. Anthony Davis obviously don't want to do it. Who was hurt again, right? He missed uh, the game. My name Bubba Dude, Dove said this nigga walking like he pregnant. <laughs> 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 he said, AD, you holding your back like you pregnant or something. <laughs> you just hear people talk about like Anthony Davis needs to be this and that. LeBron's getting older. Obviously, the man ain't got it. So let Westbrook do it. Yeah. Be like, look, LeBron, we're going to play this crazy Westbrook style. And then we're going to let you, when you ready to take off and do your thing, we're going to slow it down a little bit. The thing is, just like you're playing, like 
Westbrook has been playing decent, whatever, feisty defense. He's getting around, uh, handling the ball a little bit, but you're still going back to LeBron handling the ball. It's like you still need to just play to Westbrook's strength. Like, Westbrook's pulling up for jumpers. Like, why are you? You just he just needs to know his place. That game last week was classic. Oh my, I, was well, yeah. <laughs> I mean, yeah. <laughs> my man took the jumper. They was at half court. It was like, what the, the fuck is that? <laughs> With a, what? It's cool. It's cool. It's Fourteen cool. seconds. <laughs> oh, God. Fourteen seconds left on the shot clock. Nah, it was still like eighteen seconds <laughs> yeah. left on the shot clock. Eight, I mean, Thirty seconds left of the game. He's pulling up for jumpers confidently. Like either Westbrook, if you don't have a lane to the hoop, pass the ball. Westbrook's mind. Everybody else is saying Westbrook don't shoot it again. In Westbrook's mind, I'm just in a slump. I'm gonna come out of this. I'm gonna shoot my way out of this slump. But but the thing is though, he gotta keep shooting. You can't be uh, Ben Simmons out here. Wait, hold on. Oh, why does ben Westbrook Simmons? gotta keep shooting? He's not a shooter. Westbrook you, you strength. Got, if you is, get a wide open shot, you gotta try it. Man. No, you can't Westbrook like, strength is bully ball driving to the hole. Like, yeah. That's his strength, but you cannot. But he just can be, shoot a jumper. Though. He's hit a. He may you not cannot just be a day. Claymore out there, basically. <laughs> yeah, you sitting. can't be playing four right. or five on offense. Basically. I understand. Well, you yeah, can't let him sag off I mean, so much that they like he ain't gonna shoot. So you got to keep shooting. It's the whole Draymond. Draymond Green ain't a great shooter, but but if yeah. you keep sagging off, oh, he, he gonna knock down one or two corner threes. And, and it's gonna make you have to come back out there. Are we gonna? You know what I'm saying? That's true. It's just I don't know. It's like, the Lakers is crazy. I this feel like year, it's man. what you said last week. Like they got a Ferrari and they like we want you to drive slow. You gotta I be like, that. look, yeah. Westbrook, so everybody can that. see you. No, you just gonna be like, look, we are gonna do this <laughs> drive slow, fast shit for Westbrook, drive LeBron. Slow. When when we really get in those moments, we want you to take over. Like at the end of that game, Westbrook shouldn't even have the ball in his goddamn head. I mean, but what can you do if he does get the ball and runs with it? He don't have to get the ball. Whoever's taking the ball out, say, don't throw that motherfucker the ball. <laughs> Like these are like, pro clearly players. LeBron and AD were behind the play yeah, somehow, so they could have got the ball. And that's what I thought. And I looked at it too. Like, well, first off, why the fuck are y'all just moseying up half court? I wonder who did take the ball out on that though. It was probably AD. It was probably AD. Is what probably I would assume. That's right? what I'm saying. He took it out and threw it. That goofy motherfucker. <laughs> did y'all see Cameron going off on Ben Simmons? Nah, Cameron said because he won't shoot. Cameron said, "Hey, yo, B." I don't know if you don't want to play basketball or what, but leave my niggas out of this. K- KD, Kyrie, I know y'all want to hoop, but get this nigga up out of Brooklyn. <laughs> I thought that was pretty funny for Cameron to come out and say that. I thought they was. I thought he was a, a, a avid Knicks fan. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I think he is though. Yeah, I thought he was an avid Knicks fan, and him coming out like that to maybe he got a relationship with them. KD though. and Kyrie like, probably. Hey, this shit crazy. Yeah. Uh, and uh. What Jalen Brunson's been playing well. well What's the Knicks looking that. like? I mean, he's kind of the face of the franchise. I expect right him to look now. like the Knicks, like put up some points, don't win yeah. shit. Anyways, next topic, which is a topic for sure. Spurs released 19 year old guard Josh Primo, the 12th pick of the 2021 draft. Just released to, him. Released him. Like, Shockingly. Fuck with you. Just two weeks ago, the Spurs exercised his third year team option. Primo released a statement saying regarding his mental health, but news broke shortly after that he exposed himself to numerous women. One of them, a Spurs staffer. This nigga showing his dick. <laughs> <laughs> this nigga running around flashing people in the locker room. Oh, so, so I got I got paid. I'm telling y'all I got mental health issues. Y'all didn't believe me, so I'm gonna show you my dick. He didn't they say didn't that him, though, before they paid him. Well, yeah, yeah, they yeah but the they option, exercised though. his option. Yeah. Okay. Well. Uh, but they did have, like, I mean, he played well in the preseason. He was showing promise. Like, he was kind of, like, at this point, becoming the face of the franchise. Yeah, but you do that, you don't leave him no choice. It's tough to give the keys to a 19-year-old, but this Spurs staffer has hired Tony Busby, the same attorney used in the Sean Watson case. Brian's That's what cool. I was about to say. Like, <laughs> if he's out there showing his dick to people in the organization, yeah, you can't keep him around. Because you know you're going to get sued, and they're going to say it's a hostile workplace. Mm-hmm. They know he's showing his dick to everybody, and they gave the motherfucker a raise. Yeah, nah, he got to go. Yeah, I don't know. Right. I mean, I guess you probably can't trade him because you probably have to tell another team that, like, we have yeah. to trade him because he, he likes to show his dick to people. So I think he was actually out the last two games, which was kind of raising concern. And then, yeah, all this blew up. Got to learn that dick could get you in trouble, boy. Uh, for 
for sure. I don't, man, it's not you, the dick, bro. It's like you can't just be throwing it out there unwanted hey. and unsuspecting You can't people. just slide in DMs with that, hey. though. You yeah. got to say, like, hey, what's up first or that something. That ain't even digital. That's like <laughs> Nigga, human resources just throwing that mug around. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> he was like, no, nah, I thought this was the locker room. <laughs> Uh, yeah, so that was just a surprising thing. What did his statement say? He said he had mental health. He said mental health, but this was also before they had released nah, the news. I guess he is. He probably thought this probably wasn't going to get out. They should call the police on his ass. Well, so they he did. tried to use mental health to, to jump out in front of it. That's yeah, what it I looks told like. They, they throw that uh, mental health. That's what it we've been like, saying hey, that they trying to escape. Yeah. He said he said he has suffered trauma, and one day he'll be able to speak about this to help others. Help That's others he keep said. their dick in their pants? Nah, bro, I'm I, to hear that. He wasn't alluding to that, though. He, oh. I think he thought that this wasn't going to get out. I hope he didn't get But I think counsel. after he said that, the lady probably was like, oh, yeah, you want to lie? I'm going to go ahead and drop this. He drop must, this bomb. He must have been getting counseled by E-May. Nah, E-May and Doki was just fucking with him. Yeah. Yeah, but he was pulling that dick out and they was going for it. But that was, like, consensual, though. Yeah, I know. <laughs> this is, like, the unwanted dick, like... On one yeah. dick. Unsolicited. <laughs> Brett Favre, pants hey, like Samantha. Grant. <laughs> hey, how's it going today? How was breakfast? He's like, God damn, this goddamn belt will never stay. <laughs> never seen this two. zipper. I need this. Do you sew? You said breakfast. I got two eggs and a banana. <laughs> nah, yeah. I'm surprised that NBA didn't step in and, and like say, "Well, you suspended or something." Man. I think he's like out indefinitely. Like, I don't think anybody's gonna claim him. Obviously. You know, I, I wouldn't put it past the team. Like, if there's talent there, I wouldn't put it past the team. But I don't think he's. I mean, he's not. I mean, he had a good preseason, but he's not like blowing the doors off. Like, does he have talent? I mean, they picked him what twelfth pick of the draft Somebody's last season. Some team would be like, "Look, we're gonna we're gonna pick you up. And we're and gonna pay only, this other guy hundred thousand to follow you around. Make sure you don't pull your dick." out. He's only nineteen. So, yeah, that's crazy. Nineteen yeah. year old, just like man, this is what this is me. <laughs> Hey, you want it or not? Yeah, you gonna suck it or you not? Do your thing. <laughs> oh, oh, oh my god! You think he put the Mutombo? Like, who wants to fuck Primo? <laughs> oh, oh, whistle dick. That sucks, man. Nineteen, like it you're does, still young man. and dumb. And you worked that's, your heart. You worked your heart out sucks, to get yeah, there, and you like, threw it all away. I wouldn't say threw. I mean, he's nineteen, but he might not still. ever get another look, though. That's the thing. Like, you do dumb shit when you're nineteen, but I, it's the fact that they. They expecting you to be a grown. It's kind of and this, the Spurs were kind of like ready to give you the franchise. Like I said, he's on their posters, their season tickets. It's kind of different when you go to a to the NBA. They kind of expect you to be a little bit more mature than others. Well, and, and who, that's what I'm more. saying. They expect it, but is it different for a 19 year old? I don't think it is. But you have a different type of responsibility. You have to be able to step up to the plate. To it don't change that. the fact you're 19, though. It does. How many 19 year olds came to the NBA and showed their dick? I mean, we had people in the NBA do dumb shit all the time. Yeah. Like, this is just a different version of dumb I, shit. I, I, I don't think just because you're 19, you go to a league, all of a sudden you have the maturity of a 30-year-old. You're still 19. But there's been plenty of 19-year-olds that have the maturity of a 30-year-old that still have played in the NBA today. I don't know. I don't think so. I don't think so. I, think, I mean, people say, like, that was one of the biggest things about LeBron. He came in the league so early, yet he never had any, like, scandal-type things go on. And people give him credit for that because it's just so common. You get young guys, you give them a, butt, a buttload of money, dumb shit soon to follow. It may not be this level of dumb, but it's going to be some dumb shit that follows. I guess so. I guess. I, di- I digress. There you go. Yeah. Is that the word you knew? You learned? Is that no, no, about? no. I, it's still in the top. <laughs> <laughs> it's still in the and I guess top. That was, that was the NBA's form of protecting this was by telling them that they needed to play one year outside of high school, whether it's in college, G League, whatever, overseas, before we draft you. I, I guess one year maturing. I don't know why they thought that was good. Yeah. You're still 19, bro. Yeah. All right. Better it's than hard 18. To prepare for like, hey. Or 17. You're going to be 19 and 20, I'm going to give you millions of dollars. I don't think yeah. nothing prepares you for that. Unless your daddy was like Clay Thompson's daddy, Steph Curry's daddy, and he was raised with that shit. Lonzo Ball's daddy. Yeah. <laughs> 20 points a game. <laughs> All right. What do you say? Couldn't hold me. Couldn't. What do you say, Michael Jordan? <laughs> La- uh, Lamar? He's too small. <laughs> Lamar? <laughs> One hand tied behind my back. Oh, Can't hold me. Oh, he can't, couldn't touch me. 
I do soon. Rotisserie chicken. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so we got another up and coming superstar. Uh, well, I guess Primo was an up and coming superstar. Possibly, could have. But anyways, Tyrese Maxey. He goes for a career high, forty four points, with nine three pointers and eight rebounds against the Raptors. Seventy sixers are now three and four, kind of turning things around. I know, Lindari, that's kind of like secretly your second favorite team. What's his first favorite? The Warriors. The Warriors. Oh. Your Can't thoughts on that? that? I don't think they're uh, still gonna win shit until they start playing through Embiid. That's what Embiid was say. out the other night. Yep, that's I what know. What I was gonna say earlier, man. Maybe Embiid, maybe Philly should go get Embiid because that's the only process that seems to be working in Philly. Oh, the process. I don't know what you're talking about. Me neither, bro. Philly got Embiid. <laughs> talking about the Eagles are winning. The they Citrus talked about that. Won. They said the Eagles are winning, the Phillies are in the World Series, well, and then the they Sixers got the Flyers are, are winning also. The they, Sixers are the, the only Sixers one is, holding it up, and no, they're supposed to be I the mean, most they, talented they one. They're seven yeah. games in, so I'm not going to yeah. mark them down as dead jet, but in oh, the long to, run. Wait, wait to the playoffs. They're gonna in the long run, if they don't start playing through and beat, I don't think they're going to You seen that little kid? Upset. Oh, yeah, the little kid at the Phillies game? Yeah. He was upset they lost. He wasn't upset, but he was firing back at the Astros. Uh, fan. You call him a cheater? After cheater, the so Phillies had come back and won, the Phillies went down 5 nothing, and they came back and won. Oh, yeah, in game one? Yeah. Yeah. That started. Get him out of there. Anyways. They moving shit up there. Moving along, yeah. We it's getting later in the day, you know. Going on it upstairs. was a time when <laughs> they were asleep. <laughs> All right. Uh, Pacers rookie guard Ben Matherin goes for 30, 32 points and a win over the Nets. Possibly he wins rookie of the year and sixth man of the year. If he keeps coming off the bench, playing well. That sounds like that's cheating. That's cheating? Yeah, you can't get them both. Why not? Why not? I don't know. Some of my, my brain says it ain't right. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> Your brain ain't possibly processing it. I mean, we also got Paulo uh, Banchero. You Has know. that ever happened? I doubt oh, it. Man. I highly doubt really? it. I don't even need to research man? that. Ben Simmons won rookie of the year his second year in the league. Well, yeah, we know got that's that possible. Age. Blake huh? did it, too. Got that yeah, Blake Horrible. did that, too. Huh? Blake Griffin did that, yeah. too. Oh, he was hurt his first year, too. Wait, did Bit, did uh, Joel B do that, too? Because he sounded like the first two years, didn't he? With his back. He came in with back issues in the league. Yeah, I don't know. But, no, I thought I'd throw that out there. Uh, he's playing well. That would be cool if he did. I mean, I, I never heard of it, so I, yeah. I'm going to assume he'd be the first person to do it. And then they would have to also keep coming off the bench the whole season. Wait, you, you can win. never start? Not this Six you can only start so many games. Six man, you gotta be on. The I don't second. know if you can start any. You can start some oh. games. You, it's a, it's a number. Like, like well, you so have, I feel like if somebody get hurt, like, you shouldn't be like, oh, well, I can't get six. That's yeah, the thing. like Jamal Crawford, like the years he was winning six man, like he started some game, or even Lou Williams, like it's some game. You can start some game. It's just a number. Like you gotta start. I think it's like you gotta come off the bench in like more than fifty percent of the games or something like that. It's a number too. I think. It- that's the thing. It had they had an injury. They had a uh, Miles Turner still hurt. I mean, I guess they're managing his sprained ankle, and he. He was going to move in the starting lineup, but they kept him coming off the bench. What do they consider a start? Just like you got out there when we tip off? Or is it like yeah. you got to play like the first minute or something? I That's assume. the same thing. <laughs> no. I assume you can't tip off, because call somebody out, out there for and the pull tip somebody off and out. play the first minute. That's the same thing. No, I mean, like, is there a time limit? Like, if you just sat there on a the tip off, they consider that, oh, no, he started even though he was out there. Yeah. He didn't play the rest of the game. Yes. Okay. And as long as you start less than 41 games, 50%. Oh, okay. I was way off on that. Yeah. Well, you're a sports guy. What? We're all sports guys. What do you mean? I just bring the topics. <laughs> <laughs> I just we all know sports. <laughs> all right. Uh, the Suns son's forward, Mikael Bridges, played his 314th consecutive game. He don't get hurt. He don't get sick. That's a skinny one, ain't it? Yeah. No, that's that's pretty tough. 314 in a row. He started most it's of the game, now. too. Yeah. Uh, the Suns are 4-1. and one. Fourth in offensive rating and fourth in defensive rating. The only team top five in both. Don't uh, matter until they get to the playoffs, man. And then DeAndre Ayton will miss a week, at least a week, with a left sprained ankle. Yeah. He's a seven-footer, boy. It's tough moving around. Seven foot. do not matter. I feel like uh, we frail, all really on make frail ankles. Is Zion back yet? Do. Zion came back today. What was he out talk for? real quick. Did you see that fall he took with the hit? He hurt his hip? Mm. I don't know. It was a nasty uh, fall. 
I got it. Hold on. Talk real quick. I got Zion's numbers he boom, had today. Boom, 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 Why do basketball players fall so goddamn much? They jump. They jump. I don't know. <laughs> Ball, I, mean, I, I see Zion Davis just fall like. Zion back today. He, he had 21 points, 12 rebounds, 7 assists. That's a solid day. It ain't bad. That's a solid it day. It ain't bad. You think they're going to make some noise in the playoffs? Do they play? I think, yeah. I think so. They got a talented team. I want to play the Clippers. I don't know. I feel uh, like it's only about seven. And then years. the Jazz are five and two. Nobody cares about that. <laughs> you know that. I'm just saying, like, it's kind of I mean, we predicted the Jazz and the Spurs to be tanking. I, I saw they're the playing Jazz well. For Victor. And then we had uh how about the Lakers? What if the Lakers tank for Wimby? That doesn't happen. They cannot tank for Wimby. What do you mean? Because if, no they, oh, if yeah, their they don't pick have no is picks, in the top, right. <laughs> whatever next year, it goes to somebody they don't have else. No picks. Yeah. Yeah. Wait, so, if it's in the top, something that goes to somebody it's else? A, it's like a conditional pick. Like if it's in the top, yeah. if it's a lottery pick, then they yeah. don't get it. Really? I, right. I feel like it's always been like, you know, it's uh, uh, protected. Pick. It's a yeah. protected pick. That one. Okay. Yeah. But I don't like at this point, why don't you just trade? Like the whole thing is Buddy Heald and Miles Turner. That trade is still out there. For the Lakers, why are you not making that trade? Trading who for them? Westbrook and your 20, 26, 28 picks or whatever it is. At some point, you gotta stop trading all your damn picks. Why? Who cares about the picks? Picks matter, bro. I'm not, don't say picks. Like don't you matter. get healed and Turner, like you're a decent team. Like you healed, get healed and Turner, you think they like oh, they healed has more healed has more three pointers this season than your whole team. I believe we can check that. That's so, probably a lot of players. But do you think they those two players away? No, I'm, but it puts them, like, up there in contention. Playoffs, possibly. Like, that's the thing. you got to at least get in the playoffs to have a chance, right? I feel like if you got LeBron and you're not in playoff contention, then you got bigger problems than Buddy Hill. That's Hill's true. Return. But LeBron isn't what he used to be. Like, he's it's kind of like he needs help now. Like, he's still, I mean, like, he probably can't do it 40-whatever minutes a game. Yeah. But he's still a beast. I agree. Yeah. I mean, LeBron going to give you what he gives you. He's, mm-hmm. When you watch the games, he still easily looks like the most talented player on the court. Yeah. The man like even though he's, like, exactly. I mean, even though he's is. older and he might not can do it, like you say, the 40 minutes a game, but when he's giving you that 35 minutes a game, like you might see him kind of coast a little bit, but when he want to go, if he want to get he a know. bucket, he can get a bucket. He you know, know when saying? to take a breather yeah. and when to go. You'll see him yeah. go. The, like when you see him on a fast break and he outrun every young nigga on the court, you be like, yo, this nigga can still that go. That should be crazy. Yeah. yeah. AD or somebody. Like him and, uh, and it is mostly on AD. Like, What's still his name? Doing? AD just ain't got that. Why not? How old is AD you right don't, now? Nah, it ain't no it's age like, to it. How do you not it? have what you had? He's still when you was 27. In New Orleans, AD 27. You don't even 28? know if he really had it in New Orleans because he never had to play for nothing in New Orleans. It was just like Kevin Love type shit. He was just playing on a bad team, making it look good. But you, now you might be on to something. Yeah, but like now that you need him to have it, and you you know we didn't. It's he not a small sample lights. size. It's not even that. He it's just some players niggas ain't born with it. Like a Giannis, you ain't have to teach Giannis shit. Giannis like, yo, I'm gonna go get it. Yeah. Nigga, I got. Dang. I'm gonna be that dude. But I be when Giannis you watch wild. AD and he get the ball, like you be like, oh, he he good, he got it. He got talent, it's but like it's he, a different. It's a difference between you having talent and like being that dog. Like if AD was that dog, he he, he probably be in the top five conversation in the league. Nobody even talks about AD as a top five player in the league anymore. Mm-hmm. But can't you, like, already without because him being that Mr. dog, Glass. can't you as a coach be like, look, here go the play we run in. Low post, Anthony Davis. You can do that as much as you want, but you, it still don't, dude. You like, can, I feel like if you throw him the ball and everybody was like, nope, he'll get don't it. throw it back. Like, eventually he's going to have to be like, all right, I got to uh, go get it. You don't, I don't know how that play, man. I don't think it play like you that. You can't force him to take the team. Yeah, you, I don't think it play like that. Like I say, it's it's got to be in you. And AD, it just don't seem like he got that in him. He don't have that extra level. Like, you know, like I said, like Giannis. Like, Giannis want to be great. AD mm-hmm. is like, nigga, I'm good enough. It's a different mindset. I, but I would say right now, like, AD, if you was like, hey, who who you want me to throw the ball to to get this last shot, AD or Giannis? I'd be like, AD. See, I'm going to say Giannis. So I, I know like, that Giannis. I know, I know, I know what Giannis, Giannis can do. He can try to drive to the basket. That's it. He can shoot now. I'm not, I'm not going. He's getting there. He gets mid range. He's getting there. Yeah, his mid range. I'm about to say his mid range. Cool. I'm gonna need a season under his belt. For but, the, and, but that's a- just pro- progression, though, a- right there. A- it's a- like, he can shoot too, though. Yeah, he can. But it's like, 
this is the thing with Giannis. Giannis got that mentality, like nigga, we gonna win this for game. For sure. For sure. Give me Giannis, the ball, we yeah, gonna win this game. A D don't got Giannis that. So I don't feel like right I don't now. feel like, yo, get this man the I need a bucket, get this man the ball just because he's good. I'm like, I would need somebody that wanna be that dog that's gonna win me this game. It's a difference. It is, but for me, I'm like, can you go get me a bucket if I throw you the ball? That's all I need. And I'm like, yo, I want the nigga that's going to go like give me a bucket. I feel like if you throw AD the ball, I feel like you a you'll be like, maybe. He might. He just he don't pro- want the ball. He probably yeah. he probably will get you a bucket. But I want the nigga that's like, I'm going to die getting this bucket. I ain't got nothing else to do but get this bucket. <laughs> like, that's how he, no. that's how Giannis play. Giannis like, yo, y'all want to stop me from getting, the, getting to the bucket? Cool. I'm going to learn how to take jump shots every year until I get it down to you. Y'all going to have to figure it out. AD is like, nigga, this same shit I've been doing for however many years. Nigga, this is what it is. This is what I'm going to do. Wait, but so for me, I feel like it, in my brain, I think like you can coach that, though. You can coach. I don't, you can't like, uh, You coach. can change somebody just by the culture. Like uh, Kevin Durant was never known as like this defensive juggernaut. When he came to the Warriors and he got in that culture with Draymond Green around him, that was like Kevin Durant might get defensive player of the year. That first of all, when that you, was very short lived. It was short lived because he's only there two years. No, that defensive year to player of the year talk was short lived. He it was a point where he was like blocking shots and all of that, but oh, that wasn't a long stint. No, KD. Kevin Durant. Yeah, but he, that wasn't a whole season where he didn't do that for a whole season. He wasn't like the uh, I'm gonna protect the paint the whole season, but he was a solid defensive player and the, the whole year playing way above the level he had ever played at. I don't think that's true. He just did what he did. He's a seven footer, bro. He just played defense the same way he played defense every year. Nah, he, the way he played in Golden State wasn't the way he played at uh, OKC. Yes, it was. I didn't see it. It was the exact same way he played in OKC. It. He was like, yo, I'm going to stand here. If I can block the shot, I will because I'm seven foot tall. I'll grab rebounds because I'm seven foot tall. I'm not going out of my way to do this shit. <laughs> it was the same exact way. I feel like when he was in OK, I mean, OKC, maybe I didn't the, see the it in difference, OKC. The difference is, is the team was so much better in, in Golden State. Nigga, like, yo, we gonna, we gonna blow the doors off niggas to where it's gonna be. Hey, I got block a layup here or there. Well, who cares? I think <laughs> it's a, it's you, a difference. You can go into a culture and change a player. Like, there's a reason that when Kevin Garnett comes to your team, you become a better defensive team. Because Kevin Garnett is a great defender. Yeah, and he makes everybody else step their game up. I don't know if it's that's like true. It's not like when it. Kevin Garnett got there, Ray Allen and Paul Pierce was playing better D. No, Kevin Garnett was the great defender. He was borderline <laughs> crazy. Yeah, you're like, like, yo, <laughs> I'm gonna lock the paint down. Nigga. So look, I don't need, play, I don't care what y'all do to the I'm gonna lock the paint down. When you like, play with Giannis, and he's going a thousand miles an hour. It's hard to be the guy out there jogging. You can't be the one jogging. Nigga, Brooke Lopez jog all the hey, goddamn he time, play. bro. Quit, hey, that's, that's, quit that's throwing these speed, excuses bro. out here, man. AD don't got it. Point blank, you can make him happen. There's nothing though. else I feel to like it. It's just the culture. That it's you not, can make him man. It's a, it's him. It's inside of him. So you don't believe culture has anything to do with I don't players. think any I don't think culture had anything to do with him. I thought he would have a chip on his shoulder this year. He don't. Maybe. He don't care. He he not that guy. He's he's had he's, some flashes again this I year. I think though. he set out to do what he wanted to do, and that's why we don't get nothing better from him. He won him a chip. He won him a chip. He got money. It's nothing else for him. We saying it's like he plays terrible though. He don't play no, terrible. He, he gets or, hurt a lot. Or or no, maybe not. maybe he's taking so many See, that's the injuries. Dream. He's so scared you about to go hard. Like, he played good. You know what you about to say? But that's not what we need. Good. That's not what we're talking about here. We're like, like, yo, we need you to take the keys. We need you to be the yeah. guy. He ain't doing that. And it's been plenty know. of time for him to do it. LeBron for the last two years, like, nigga, it's your team. Yeah. Do you, bro? It's, it's different when you say it's your team, but then you got the ball most of the game. Bro. Well, I'm playing point guard. Of course I'm going to have the ball. I mean, but that's a different thing. You say it's your team. But you got the ball, and I got to go stand over here so you can drive. So you basket. want me to come down and give you the ball and get out of your way? I don't know what but you, you need to do. But you don't got that in you, though. I don't know what you need to do. I'm not a basketball coach, but I know you can't tell the big guy it's your team. First of all, but you go stand over there. This while big I'm guy you're talking about don't even want to be down there. That's true, too. He don't even want to play closer to go. He want to be outside. He want to be in that's the corner. That's what I'm saying. That's coaching. You're like, that's where you at, bro. That's how it's going He don't be. even want to play the five. The nigga want to be a, small, a stretch four. And he was. These are which pros, is, though. Like, which is crazy because he was one of the best, you play. best you defenders in the league for a couple years. That's what I'm saying. You know, I don't feel like wild. this same AD in LA is an AD that was in New Orleans. Yeah. Well, that's I, I just, I that's just evident. told you. Told he you he already made that, that point. It, it right. seems to me like he got with LeBron. was like, I can chill out now. Yeah. Which is crazy because LeBron's like, hey, man, 
I'm trying to pass you the keys. I'm 38. For two years. And let me be the side, dude, to help like, you not out. Not only can you not stay healthy, you just don't seem interested in driving the bus. Like I said. That's why let Westbrook do it. Won't he? I said that. And the Won't people do on, it? on the game clown me. So <laughs> I was just like, like, I was like, I think they should let Russ, Russ cook a little bit. This yeah. Russ, not the other one. They just uh, need a shooter. Like, you, just, <laughs> man, you just can't run from Russ's yeah. real life, bro. They frauds, man. If they can't shoot, just stop shooting threes, man. You ain't got to keep shooting threes. Yeah, but you don't shoot threes, you're going to lose in this league today. No, you won't. You should, yes, you will. I don't think so. All right, moving okay. on. Let's wrap this thing up. All right, moving on. A little bit of college football. We had number two, Ohio State beat uh, 13 Penn State. Dog them. 44-31. Did they dog them? When Penn State was winning at halftime. I never felt like Penn State was going to win the game. Did you? No. Exactly. Just because, I don't know. It was Ohio like State the same the thing. Dog. It's like uh, that Chiefs-Niners game. Like, yeah, y'all up, but. All right, anyways, like, JT Telemuala. Eight tackles. That, that's I definitely butchered that. But yeah, anyway. He interrupted you to, to, to talk. <laughs> Eight tackles, name. three tackles for loss, two sacks, two interceptions. One of them picked six. One pass breakup. One forced fumble. One fumble recovery. He start. What he, he was the number one defensive player in the country. When he, yeah, uh, recruited. Yeah. Shows you why. Um, we also have Marvin Harrison Jr. Ten receptions, one hundred eighty-five yards. He's gonna be top ten pick. Is his daddy a killer or not? I heard he was. Okay. Allegedly. 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 Okay. I heard that he was. I heard, but you'd be surprised by that, though, Connor, because he seemed like a really cool, nice guy. What? Hey. So Marvin Harrison was the one that shot the guy at the gas station, wasn't it? Um, the car wash. The car wash. Yeah, yeah, it was a car wash. I've like, heard that he was like that nigga, yeah. though. I think that was like the first time I heard, like, the, it'd be the quiet ones. Yeah. FN 57. I was like, yeah. Marvin Harrison shot over the That's boy. why I be trying to speak up sometimes, because it'd be the quiet ones. Yeah, but wah, everybody wah, know that, though. It's always the quiet dude you got to watch. We gonna wait for you. Yeah. We were done. Watch y'all go, Chiefs. Watch y'all go. Watch y'all go. <laughs> Watch y'all talk, man. No. All right. Anyways, we got some. We got some dog walks. Two dog walks. Dog walk. Can we hit the dog walk for him, Kenny, real hold quick? On, hold on, Can I? Hold on, All right. Hold on. All right. Dog walk for the Niners? No, nah, no, nah, that was last week, man. That's old news. We talking about new news. We keep you up to date with all the best sports news updates. Oh, you do your dog. Then dog I do walk. my dog walk. All right, so we had a dog walk yesterday. K, number 22, K-State, oh, yeah, 48. Against number nine, Oklahoma dog State, walk. zero. Largest ever shutout win by a lower-ranked team over a top-10 team. Beat the sleeves off them. Mm-hmm. Dog that walk. sound bad. All right. Deuce, <laughs> we had Deuce Vaughn, 158 rushing yards, <laughs> two total touchdowns. Cade Warner, which is actually the what son. What y'all laughing about? Of this Kurt dude, Warner. He don't want me to take my dog walk. Uh, <laughs> the son. Set hold, up on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Kay Warner went for 97 receiving yards, two touchdowns. He's actually the son of Kurt Warner. He's oh, a wide really? receiver. What? Huh. Yeah. Kurt Warner got a lot of kids, don't he? I don't know. He got no, a I lot of kids? Phil no, Rivers. that's Phil Rivers. Oh, okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yo, don't you right. putting that on. <laughs> yeah, come on, man. <laughs> All right, we had the Saints 24 nothing over the Raiders. The Raiders. Oh, that ain't really a dog walk. That's they, a dog what, walk. What they win by? You got Devontae Adams. You got to score a touchdown, bro. Just get in field goal range bro. with Devontae Adams. They only lost by 24. You got Josh Jacobs, like one of the best running backs in the league right now this season. So, let me you ask you You got to get in field goal range. Well, you had Debo, IU, McCaffrey. Kurt Warner got seven kids. And you lost seven kids. Oh. Yeah. <laughs> oh. That ain't, I mean, that ain't a lot. That's that breaking news. I never knew that. <laughs> Philip Rivers got what? Uh, I'll call you right back. He, oh, got, right he got back. more than that. Philip Rivers, he he leaned the league, Philip Rivers. He need a TV show. He need a vasectomy. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sure he got one by now. Nah. nah. I mean, you got money. We just pop him out. Make a whole community. Why not? Fuck it. Him and Nick Kang in a race. In a race. <laughs> hey, did y'all see, hey, that? Did y'all see that dude? He got nine. Nine? Yeah, oh, I mean, he he is. yeah. yeah. He's he a winning. legend. It was a nigga that dressed up as Nick Cannon for Halloween. He had a turban on, a wallet out hoodie. And he had like one of them little cabbage patch kids strolling with like cabbage patch kids coming out of everywhere. <laughs> <laughs> he bowed on that. They, they said that girl pregnant again. Yeah. Super sperm. We had uh, the Broncos won today in London. Go figure. Latavius Murray scored the game winning <laughs> touchdown. Go, figure. <laughs> Go fucking figure. But he scored the game winning touchdown just four weeks after scoring a touchdown for the Saints in London. They, mean, they should move a Keep team that to, nigga London to London and sign that nigga. Keep him in London. Keep that nigga in London. We don't fuck with you. Melvin well, Gordon scored also. Much. They did that like a yeah, couple but, weeks I ago. Yeah, but I mean, it's like, look, we're going to bring in Murray and just like feed him the rock. 
I yeah. think he was more like uh, depth play. Oh, oh Murray? Murray. Nah, nah, because they, uh, you know, the He's our back. starter got hurt. Well, yeah, we know Javante Williams. And then yeah. they like straight up took Melvin Gordon out the game. The I know, day. but that was like, a they game. But Hackett down. was like, ah, oh, he's still a starter, and he started. That boy Gordon tried. started. Right. I See, guess they kind of sharing said. carries. You can't tell me he the starter. And I'm watching this yeah. man get all the carries. Yeah. Uh, and then because <laughs> Chris like Hackett, he's a starter. Like no, fucking ain't. I watched. He it. said he was a starter. Nah, man, no. You only go off what the coach say, right? No, I go off with my eyes see. <laughs> 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 who had Johnny? Who had more carries? Uh, uh, I thought you was at looking that, at the game stats. Nah, he's watching. He's watching fa- fantasy. You got football. anything else? Yeah, yeah I was looking at. No, the hold Giants. on. I got I one last thing. Game. Okay, what you got? We're off dog walk already. We got Jake no. Paul drops Anderson Silva and win. Um, he actually knocked him down to eighth round, which is an eight round fight. Jake Paul won. Um, he after the fight, he called out Nate Diaz and Canelo. First off, bro, you don't want no smoke. <laughs> That's what I'm talking about. I said that on the game last night. I don't care about him fighting no more of these UFC dudes. Come fight on. a real boxer. Fight Canelo. Fight said. Triple G. He addressed that. Fight Tank. He said, I'm tired fight of one y'all of them saying niggas, bro. I ain't fighting no real y'all boxers. Stupid. Fight one of he them niggas, man. Trying. I don't care nothing about these bro. UFC fighters, bro. That ain't the same game. Yeah, it ain't. Fight a boxer, bro. bro. Fight one of these boxers that's really bro. boxy. It ain't y'all even got to be somebody that good. He no, no way in life it ain't even got to be no, no, yeah, yeah. It ain't even got to be nobody that good. Like, bro, fight, um, who's the last nigga? Fight Roley. Bro, no. fight Roley. Canelo will, Canelo will beat him with one arm tie. You know, he got like to fight like is Miguel Cotto still boxing? <laughs> <laughs> or like Bernard Hopkins? No, fight Roley. Nah, Bernard, Bernard Hopkins, Hopkins, bro. That nigga like he, sixty. That's what I'm saying. But I think Bernard Hopkins will wash him fast. Like, <laughs> might no. Canelo. I, don't and, like, and make you I thought it was hilarious. Quesadilla. He was calling out Canelo. I watched. I watched this thing. <laughs> He's like, hey, you two uh, champions right there. I want my shot. Uh, Silva, yeah, Silva, Silva was actually looking kind of fast. Yeah, I mean, Silva was kind of getting though. him a little bit. Yeah, like put him in there with her. I'm tired. Like, man, give up the UFC fighter. Fight a boxer, man. Yeah, when you fight somebody been boxing forever, ever, ever. Jake Paul is a smart man. Yeah, for sure. I ain't hating on the grind. Money. Yeah, I ain't hating on the grind. Hating on the man. hustle. But like him and his brother, I just I think for one, I feel like the UFC dudes are just stupid at this yeah. point. Like you just gonna keep. Just... Well, no, because they don't they don't make that money in the UFC. So that's true. They don't. That's true. That's probably like, the most yeah, money okay, I'm do it. Anderson Silva's ever made. He's one of the greatest US, uh, UFC that's fighters true. ever. That's true. I give you that. Anderson Silva, he's going there like I don't know if he gonna knock me out. I mean, I took some, you know, UFC. Well, he didn't knock him out. He, he knocked like, him down. Gloves and shit. So it's like yeah. I feel like I can take a punch. So I, I'm good. But Silva had on the small gloves, like probably like the low, the smallest gloves you can have in boxing hmm. legally. No, I, I mean if I was Silva, I would do it. Yeah, go, go yeah. Get the And then uh, Le'Veon Bell lost too to Uriah Hall. Hmm. I knew that was going right. on. Yeah, as long as you don't see, like that's Nate. where it's fair. That's like yeah, football nigga and a UFC nigga. Who wins? Neither one of these niggas is where they supposed to be. You know what I'm <laughs> <laughs> like, you niggas, they both yeah, out the water. niggas crazy. They both but like, you like, water. I'm a professional boxer. I'm going to just keep knocking out these, or just not even necessarily knocking out, but keep winning against these UFC fighters. Like, ah, nah. Let's see you find some. I want, I'm saying like somebody not, they don't have to be like the top tier boxing dudes. Like, I ain't saying put them in there with no Charlos or nothing. Put them in there with Rowley. Ain't Rolly kind of top tier now? Rolly probably will be this nigga. Rolly still probably dropping one point. Ain't he top tier? <laughs> but like, come on, man. I'm sick of it. And Get your money, though. I ain't Pacquiao hate about no money. He fight Pacquiao. Yeah, Pacquiao beat the beat the brakes <laughs> out this nigga. You know, you Pacquiao, ain't, quick. You ain't been in that fight with nobody who wanna throw 100, 100 punches around, <laughs> bro. Hold on. And, oh, man. and breaking news, 49ers have beat the Rams the eighth time in a row in the regular season. There you go. Mm. Speaking of the 49ers, Chris. Mm. And on that note, we out of here. Last man. week, Chris, with this thing. we had a generous bet. We did. Chiefs against the 49ers. Yeah. 12 Monaco's and two bunk cakes. Then you went out there and you said. Go Chiefs. <laughs> you no, you didn't say go Chiefs. I didn't say go Chiefs. You said we beat y'all by 21. I did. You got to double it. I did. Had bass in your voice. We see how that ended. You yeah. obliged. I do oblige. I pay my bets. Yep, if anything, yep. I just want knows. the world to know: don't bet against my Chiefs. 
That's all right. When we play on the Super Bowl, I'm going to bet my... you even double that. We'll you think y'all going to the Super Bowl? Oh my yeah. God. For 12 minor codes, y'all make it to the Super Bowl. Don't learn. Nah. <laughs> <laughs> we can talk about this bit a little bit. If we make there. it to the Super Bowl and y'all make it, it's definitely gonna be a twenty four Monaco bet. For sure. I feel like that's our, for that's sure. our I, and I'll be down for that because we'll yeah. be definitely beat y'all this time. Not even close. Yeah. But it's gonna be double if we twenty one y'all again, so that'll be That's fine. Whatever you want to put on it. A hundred Monaco's. I don't care. A hundred Let's go. <sighs> no, roof for that matchup. No, I, you know, and it's for the sake of you, if you lose two hundred Monaco's to me, <laughs> you can find yourself divorced, like literally. <laughs> nigga, the city's gonna be without Monaco's, my nigga. <laughs> I already had to yeah, go to five different a, stores ain't to enough fulfill Monaco's this bet. To, 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 to no fulfill. Did you that go to bet. Lucas Liquor? Yes, all of them. Name a liquor out? store. I went there. So you gotta go and be like, hey, put this on your order. You ain't go to Benton Liquors. <laughs> my bad. Yeah. I, don't I got know. some Chinese crazy on stuff Instagram. going. It's sports related. Man, it was enough. We went long it's enough. It's sports related, man. Oh, we appreciate y'all tuning in, man. Tune in for the whole episode, man. Drop an emoji down in the in the uh, comments, man. We appreciate y'all. Like the video, comment, subscribe, all that good stuff. <laughs> go Chiefs! Shout out, out to here. the Kansas. Go Niners! Niners. I didn't know. Take a sip of that. So I can say current. go Niners. They went to the championship. They, they win. Who lost. did? The Kansas oh, City Current. I watched the game. The I don't team. know what that does. I think what it's the that? women's it's soccer. The women's soccer league. league. That nigga oh, said, man. "I don't know what that does." <laughs> <laughs> the sports guy. Yeah. I don't, I yeah shout out to them for making it out there, man. That was pretty tight. Shout out to Kansas City. Take one more sip before we get Chiefs. out of sports right now. Hold on. I'm out of here. Shout out to Kansas City and no cheese. <laughs> <laughs>